guys, what is going on? It is Daboki here once again. It is time for another cooking with Daboki. Today we are going to be doing another recipe in the electric lunchbox. I am so excited. Now, the reason why I'm so excited is because we're gonna try to do something a bit more fancy in here. We're going to be cooking golden curry. It's the Japanese curry and we're doing the extra hot one and this is super delicious. I have some vegetables already chopped up and meat ready to go, all packaged up here so that we could test out the electric lunchbox. So before I get started, I wanna just know I'm trying to imitate a real scenario where you could kind of bring this lunchbox on the go. So the ingredients, they're very mobile. You can like pack with them, travel with them. You just gotta do some prep work beforehand. So I was thinking like, you know, you could keep your bags of ingredients inside this lunchbox here before you start cooking it. This is gonna be one serving size. The next tricky part is getting the curry mixture to be actually mixed. Normally you would wanna fry up your ingredients for the golden curry, so we're gonna be changing it up just a bit. We're going to just do a pure boil cook steam and we're gonna see how that works. I, I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna go, but like I said, this is going to be an experiment learning time with this electric lunchbox and golden curry. We are gonna be trying to cook fresh rice again as well because I really wanna to try to get better at that with this electric lunchbox. I know it would be preferred to just bring already cooked rice and just heat it up and steam it, but I thought for the sake of this video's experimental phase, we would try to as well cook the rice too. So first, I'm gonna set up the base curry bowl. This is where it's gonna hold all of our ingredients. We got a bag of vegetables here. This is just going to be chopped potatoes, onions, carrots, jalapenos. What else we got in here? Oh, and celery. Yes, we got celery here too. Again, you guys can mix it up. I tried to make a very small portion size. All right, bowl, ingredients. We're gonna pour in our ingredients here. Ingredients, looks good. Good. So we got the meat here. This is chuck roast. Chuck roast is my favorite meat source for stews as well as golden, golden curry here. You guys can probably use many different types of meat. I use chuck roast because this is my fave. So I'm going to season up the meat just a little bit. I'm going to season it up with some gochugaru. This is just uh, some red pepper flakes. I got some of this Trader Joe's seasoning salt. It was a random seasoning salt I found at uh, this grocery store called Trader Joe's. So this has onion, garlic, sea salt, celery seeds, paprika, ground nutmeg, and dry mustard. That is a, that is a seasoning mix in here. Shake a good healthy amount in here. Just gonna pour this chuck roast right in here with these veggies. Smells great already. Wow, we haven't even started. Okay, so now we're going to pour some water in here and I'm not gonna fill it up all the way to the top. I'm gonna to probably fill it up halfway. I poured the water in there. It's kind of halfway. It's just um, peeking at the tops of the vegetables and the meat, but as you can see, it's not completely submerging them. I'm talking like I know what I'm doing. I have no idea. If this comes out good, I'm gonna be very surprised. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. I'm pretending to have like scientific reasonings for why I'm doing things. No, I have no reasonings. The lunchbox, we're gonna put one questionable measurement of water just at the base here so that it can help steam. Just gonna pour it right in there. Put our bowl right on top. And here we're going to be cooking the rice. I'm gonna be cooking a smaller amount. I'm gonna to try to use one cup of this measurement of rice and then I will use one cup of water. Let me wash this rice really quick first. Rice is washed. We're gonna try one cup of whatever this is into there. If the one to one ratio doesn't work out well with the rice and the rice just starts messing up, I'm just going to pull out already cooked rice and heat that up with this meal. So everything now is in this lunchbox. We're gonna have it cook for about probably 15 to 20 minutes. Let's clamp up our little sides here. We got it all plugged in. I'm now going to push the little button here. So now it is cooking and we're gonna let it go. I'm gonna set the timer for 15 minutes and we'll check on it. Alexa, set timer for 15 minutes, please and thank you. 15 minutes, starting now. While this electric lunchbox is cooking, we're going to set up our golden curry mix. Cause we're gonna put this in at the last like five minutes. We're gonna mix this in there. We're gonna open this up. This is one of the bigger packs. So it comes with two uh, huge squares and each one are breaking up into four pieces. Usually for one, I guess, cook session, you would use one whole square. For this, we're going to be using one little square. So we're just gonna be using a fourth of one of these big blocks gonna break up our square pieces. Open up one of these bad boys. Ooh, 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 look at that. Oh, it smells 
so good. You can see they're all broken up nicely there. So my girlfriend and I were actually talking about this because I was asking for some help about how would be the best way to go upon cooking this in the lunchbox. So she came up with this idea of putting in this little block and just maybe in a small Tupperware or in a paper on a paper bag, plastic bag. <laughs> You're gonna have a bad time with a paper bag. And making your little mixture. So dissolving this curry block and having a little curry, I guess, paste here so that when you're ready you can just open this up and pour in the paste it's already all dissolved and hopefully it will then mix a little bit better inside the lunchbox you don't have to sit there constantly stirring so how I'm gonna do it is I'm just gonna pour a little bit of hot water into here and then just kind of mix this block down a bit again this is just for experimenting we're seeing how this is gonna work Alexa how much time left on my timer? You have seven minutes and 50 seconds left on your 15 minute timer. So you can just kind of save this and do this the night before. It's a little bit of prep work, but then you have a little container, I guess, of mixed up curry sauce that you can just put right in the lunchbox. And what's even nice, I think, is I, I'm guessing, because usually when I make curry and I have it cold, it kind of solidifies. So while this lunchbox is heating up your food and cooking it, you can put this cold curry just right on top of the lunchbox to kind of heat it up and let it turn a little bit more liquid so it's easier to pour because I'm going to be guessing once it's in the fridge it's going to be like probably a little bit more gelatiny so I might have a little bit of difficult time. I wish this was see-through so you could like see what was happening in there. I feel like there's a lot of interesting things. I want to see the rice getting cooked. <laughs> the rice I think is what I'm most worried about. Oh, the timer is going off. Alexa, stop yourself. Watch yourself. All right, so this has just been 15 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and look at what this lunchbox is doing so far inside. Oh gosh, here we go. Rice looks raw as ever. Okay, that was kind of expected. A lot more liquid kind of poured out though, it looks like, or steamed out on the base there. That looks pretty gosh darn raw too. The meat is kind of cooking. It is. Look at that. It's brown. I mean, it's still kind of mooing, but if you get past the moo, maybe we want to put the meat on the bottom. That would have actually been the better choice. Okay, if you guys do this, put the meat on the bottom of the vegetables. Now, I think this needs to cook actually for another 15 minutes. Let's do another 15. Alexa, set timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. Don't give me that sass. All right, so already mistake number one, put meat on the bottom. So I think though, guys, if we didn't cook the rice and we just had the curry stuff on the bottom, I think this would have gone a lot smoother. I think the rice is messing me up again. Oh my gosh, I thought I learned from that mistake. Alexa, how much time left on my timer? You have two minutes and 10 seconds left on your 15 minute timer. Okay, two minutes left. It smells good. I can smell the meat and the vegetables all cooking and making a really nice, I believe stew is what it's gonna look like. Just a lot of soup. Alexa, stop yourself. All right, let's take a look. 30 minute checkpoint. Ooh, rice looks like it's getting there. I think that might be almost done with the rice. Ooh, that actually kind of feels nice. Still a little bit more for the rice though. Ooh, oh, look at this. Oh, that looks great. So the main thing I'm looking for here is the texture of this tater. This is gonna be our test. Wanna be pretty soft when you're cutting into it. It's boiled, it's boiled through. And the meat is done. Meat is, oh yeah. That cooks so well. All right, let's taste one of these meat chunks here. Let's bite it in half first. Okay, there's like another piece here. Oh, that's cooked all the way through. That's not even rare. That's just well done. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Way too much liquid there. Way too much, I think at least. We're just gonna pour out a little bit of this liquid. Oh, that looks like such a good soup though. That looks great. Man, I just kind of want to eat this like this, to be fair. Pouring in our curry base now. I'm just going to try to spread it out evenly. I'm going to just kind of mix it a little bit inside there. We're going to cover it back up for five more minutes. So I know it's 35 minutes. I'm going to put the rice back on there so it can cook a little bit longer. Let's just cover it. Five more minutes. Alexa, set timer for five more minutes and watch yourself. Timer for how long? Five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. So uncool, Alexa, so uncool, man. Gotta always ruin my thunder, why? She gives me so much sass all the time. Really impressed, though, on how well this potato cooked. Oh, yeah. 
That was cooked all the way through. Rice looks about the same. The test comes with the touch. Oh yeah, rice rice feels good. Question is, how does it taste? Hmm. That's good. That's good. Really good for how many times I opened up the uh, lunchbox container. <laughs> so nice. All right. Rice, 35 minutes, one to one ratio. Not bad, not bad. We're gonna check now inside our curry. Ooh, okay, it's a bit watery, wait a second. But you can kind of tell though, it's trying to be thick. I think if we boil it just a little bit more though, it could be not bad. So I just kind of let it sit in here for about five more minutes. So I wanna see now what it looks like. It's definitely a bit thicker. Wow, actually that smells and looks amazing. Rice here, we got ourselves nice curry already cooked up in here too. I am super excited. All right, so this is a nice spoonful. We got some meat, carrot, celery, and a potato. Oh, it smells so good, guys. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Mmm. It's got a nice little kick to it too. No way. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna just take one big spoonful here, right onto our rice. Mm-hmm. That is so good. That is so, so good. Definitely recommend. I definitely recommend this, hands down. It is super tasty, super fresh, and I just cannot complain. Got a nice curry base right over your rice here. And I was worried about the consistency of the curry liquid here, but it is just perfect, I think, actually. Looks great, guys. Looks so good. I got myself some kimchi here. Guys, that meat is so tender. So tender. Wow. The vegetables are not overcooked, the meat is not hard, it just produced so much good flavor. This is a big lunch, <laughs> one serving size of curry. So yes, total cook time for me was about 35 to 40 minutes. Now that was definitely because I put in the rice to cook with it. I think if you already had rice cooked, it would take only like 20 minutes. 15 minutes, you can boil your ingredients for the curry, and then at the 15th minute, put in your already cooked rice to heat up on top. While you do that, pour in your curry mixture, mix that up, and just wait about five, maybe 10 minutes to heat everything up, and then just enjoy. But if you wanna cook the rice with it, I would say about, all together, 40 minutes, which is not that bad. I mean, you're not doing anything, right? You're just kind of sitting and waiting. It's not that spicy. It says extra hot on the box. The uh, Sundubu Chiga that I had in the previous video, that was spicy. Oh no, my camera's running out of battery. No! I'm gonna try power eat this. I'm on my curry. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour the rest of this into here. Get creative with it. Try out some different vegetables and all the good stuff. Mm. Also, if you have any suggestions or want me to try a recipe in this lunchbox, Leave in the comments below. I wanna do one video where I just try to go through as many as your guys' recipe ideas and just cook them. <laughs> Liar. You are not extra hot. This is gonna be a spice bite. Got some kimchi on there. The last bite. Oh, right, there's one more. Oh my gosh. Finished. Really, really good, guys. Super good. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you so much for watching this little cooking with the Boki. We cooked the golden curry in this electric lunchbox here. Let me know if you guys want to see more electric lunchbox videos. I hope you guys are all doing great and wonderful, eating well out there, all the good stuff. This has been the Boki. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys later. Goodbye.